Hi, scientist. So, tell me something about yourself. I'm from Dark Creek Valley, the greatest and most resourceful farmland of Avalon. Well, actually, we're at war with everyone, I suppose. I hope we didn't raid your original farmhold. We did, didn't we? Oh, I'm really sorry. You explain that, for all you know, they didn't. She calms down instantly. That's good to hear. In truth, I wasn't even there for most of my life. Master Iron took care of me since I was a small child. You said that people weren't very appreciative of your experiments. Oh, no. Not really. I mean, whenever I met anybody or heard from anybody, they always seemed afraid of my work. But mostly, Master Iron told me that we had to live far from our farmland because of some of my experiments. I don't remember any of that, though. Do you know where Master Iron is? I don't. He must have left when I was busy with my research. Would you be able to keep an eye out for him during your travels? Sure. Can I ask what happened to I your eye? I could, but I honestly don't remember. Oh. Do you have any idea how to help a certain knight? You explain everything you've learned about the sizable knight's hunger. I'm sorry, but I've never researched such things. Hmm. I was really hoping you could help. Well, consecrated oil. Increased damage by 100% for this turn. Sharpening stone. This turn every attack has 20% chance to deal 200% damage. Tome of Knowledge, Warning Law, add one item to the shop. Restock. Item drop chance boost. Increases the drop chance of items as a reward from combat by 25%. Golden tokens. At the end of your run, each 100 wealth is exchanged for one golden token. Currency used to buy permanent upgrades at a scientist. So we have to not spend our money. To get scientist upgrades. Uh, that's an annoying way to upgrade, but... Oh, we can upgrade these items permanently. Smoke bomb. Duration of smoke bomb increased to three turns. Draw from Tome of Knowledge increased to two cards. Draw from Talking Skulls increased by a card. Duration increased by a turn. Barrier increased by ten. Duration increased. Duration increased to two turns. Throwing knife damage increased to a f 150. Health lost from Wayfarer's Leaf decreased to 5 HP. I wonder if we can decrease that all the way to zero. Okay, these items become a lot more powerful as we progress. That is good. That is very good. Uh, we don't have many weird stones, so we can upgrade can't upgrade anything in here right now. I should have bought the quest card. I should remember to buy that one pretty early. Let's see if anyone else knows anything about the, the blacksmith giant listens. knight. The blacksmith listens patiently to your story of the sizable knight. I'm sorry. But I'd rather keep as far away from lords, ladies, and all other nobility as I possibly can. Yeah, I can totally understand that. We have six runestone dust, so let's boost the chances again. Because we really want to get as many of them as possible, so we can generate more runestone dust in the long run. You're back already. Go and train. You should practice 40 hours a day, at least. <laughs> 40 hours a day. Okay. The master at arms listens intently to what you have to say about the sizable knight. He even asks questions, trying to learn more about his father and the way he was raised. Well, from what you're saying, it's pretty obvious what's going on with this child. This boy doesn't need more food. Or to be experimented on by some druid. He needs a father. He needs a 
responsibility. I'm too old to take care of this myself, but my friend, the one you met already, might be able to help. Oh. I'm sure he'll be able to help figure out what to do with this child. Ah, I wish I'd talked to you before. About that. <laughs> Uh, we're still a bit short of the draw an extra card at the start of the first turn. And we have some blood for you. Uh, only 38 though, that's not gonna be enough. So I think we move on. Uh, I hate having only two weird candles, but it's the one thing we definitely can't buy yet. Because we haven't found the candle maker yet. That's the treasure guardian, I think. It doesn't look like the boss for so at least, but it might be the new boss. There's a we uh, a milestone over there, and we can get there with. You can hear them before you even see anything. The rustle of a thousand tiny legs approaching from all around you. Uh oh. Among them, a whisper, a voice sounding like nothing you've ever heard before. Then you see her, a creature no words can describe. But you immediately understand that you're standing in front of the protector that the seamstress told you about. Huh. I carry a gift from Nath. Nath, the seamstress. Ugh. This enormous monstrosity lifts two of her legs in a delicate manner you would never expect from something of her size. She takes the veil from your hands. Her face, a disturbingly beautiful face, looks confused and worried. The nearby bushes move as if they were alive. Feed them requires 50 blood. You hear anger rising in her voice. Now let's move to my village. She moves closer to you. The druidic blood running through your veins isn't afraid of her. You faced stronger foes. However, you can clearly sense the power of hundreds of little entities hiding at the edge of the weirdness. Now that's not a fight any sane being would want to experience. Ooh. She raises her hand to feel the wind. What could she be determining? You realize that she's speaking about your village. She's gone before you have a chance to react. Uh oh. Can we go back to the village and see what's happening there? I don't think we can. I think the doors are closed. Yeah. Oh dear. That doesn't sound great. I don't... Hmm. We'll see. Milestone. This is pretty central. We definitely want to boost the range. Well, that gives us some access to some enemies. We have a face shifter and a bounty hunter. These fights are gonna be a bit more difficult than the ones before. Please redirect. If I wanna focus a specific enemy, maybe the bounty hunter. Uh, I guess we activate our golem. Might as well. I don't think I want to power up the golem. Protect ourselves from feedback damage. Give us some time to react. Activate the golem one more time. 
mostly for the chargers. Two more times actually. And we're gonna use your damage because you can hit pretty hard. Abomination. Yeah, I think that's what we wanna go for. With the redirect you will I think we promote the abomination once. Get this damage bonus started. Yeah, so all the damage will go on the bounty hunter right now. Could summon another golem. I think I want to. Wait the A bomb to deal some damage. This golem won't last forever. With our armor going down. Like just one cost golems are so good. They're basically like 70 burial. Just level one golems, not one cost. And not only that, sometimes they heal. Probably wanna summon a Weom before I okay and shield myself. These guys, by the way, cannot die while they are ethereal. They can only die while they are living or materialized, whatever you want to call it. But they take half damage in the materialized state. Nice, we got a cracked calc again. Polished calc again. Maybe we can get one to level three. That would be nice. Who are you? Did you know that the weirdness ah, the witch. sometimes take the shape of our deepest desires or fears? That's how many weird spawns came to be. What Let's could go. it be that you think you need? I have to warn you that nothing is free here. We asked her to help her hone our skills. We could get a weird candle. We could remove up to five cards. That's very expensive, especially considering we can't heal. A random stab boost might be worth it though. One damage for ten health. Yeah, that's not bad. That is not all that bad. Well, if we want to explore any further than this, we will have to pop a weird candle. Uh, let's see. Let's get a shield and some damage. Strong aura, negate hits and draw 12, so we're gonna boost the abomination a bit, so we can actually reliably hit for higher than that. This fight should be... Actually, this guy... This guy is annoying. Uh, drains HP from its allies, gets stronger when they die and replaces them with summons, so we're gonna mark you. So you take all the damage the Abomination would deal. That means we get huge hits out of the Abomination. Nice. Yeah, that is really good. That uh, marking card. Like that's... That helps so much with focus damage. Because we either have AoE damage, we have retaliate damage, or we have random targeted damage. All of that is not very good at focusing individual target. The start of each turn, this minion heals 50% of its missing HP. That could be nice on a golem. At the start of each turn, promote the minion. Activate the minion, draw a card. All of these are pretty good. 
I like inner knowledge, I like self-awareness. I don't think we need mystical blood as much. I'm gonna go with inner knowledge. I think self-awareness is good, but it's just a tad bit too expensive, I think. And only good in longer fights, obviously. Um, let's check out the uh, this side of the map first. Um, let's see, we light the candle, move towards this enemy, take them out. Bounty Hunter and two infected humans. Do we have our A-bomb? We don't. I guess we have to work with the Wyrm then. I would really like to cost reduce this invocation twice. We have three tries to hit it. And the other hits aren't terrible. What is this? Uh, it's okay. Okay, we didn't hit it. So now the chances are much lower. We would need to hit it with both of them. And that's not worth trying. Activate and draw. Maybe should have played that earlier. But I think the result is fine. <sighs> there is our abomination. Sure, let's put that one out. Promote and activate. And we should be able to easily kill the infected human now. We don't even need the marking, I don't think. Might as well throw it on you. I have seven now, so I should probably use it. We don't need more than this. There we go. I must say this class feels really strong. <laughs> Notice the ruins of a home that was burned down. There's no telling whether it was destroyed during the war, set alight out of spite, or simply burned down due to an unfortunate accident. Look for valuables, a hole in the floor, and all to your left, a hole in the wall, a hundred wealth. That's good. Wealth is always nice. It's nice being rich. Uh, who do we want? Each hit received by this enemy will make it deal one more hit in its next attack. Hmm. A bomb and marking. That's how we deal with that. This is only counted as one hit with the redirect, so it's not too bad. We're taking five hits on our golem. Six hits actually, huh? Ogre, uh, we have to take out that one, but that's not a problem because our uh, abomination is gonna hit everyone. level that one up. Oh yeah, the redirect was still there, so that could have been a problem. Golem is about to die. Not a big deal. Because so are the enemies. I uh, should have used the power up first. This turn all enemies lose 50 armor and 50% damage. Okay. 
Stun a chosen enemy, permanently reduce the armor by 25. Not bad. Whenever the minion activates, draw. Yeah. I think it's time for the whispers. Every combat the energy cost of the first sigil you play is reduced to zero. Each turn gain an ultimate charge. For the first time you promote a minion, it is in combat promoted two times. Does that mean two times instead or two times in addition? Probably in addition. Hmm. That's two promotions basically worth two cards and two energy. Not quite because promote is a pretty bad card. This is usually worth two energy. If I can play a good sigil but no cards. This will give me... Half a prom, not half a prom, a third of a promotion each turn at best. So it would catch up to this one after about six turns. We'll take the invigoration. That seems to be the most value. Although something has to be said about the sigil one too. That can be quite nice too as well. Seem to be out of the ordinary. Suddenly you hear strange loud voices resembling a choir. Huh. Provide, provide, we need to provide. Oh, shut up, you damn parasites. Now you see them, all of them. An old lady carrying a lot of strange things on her back and a crew of men trudging after her. All are bald and half naked. Some push a carriage filled with things you can't quite make out. Blessed be my soul, stranger. Alive at that. Thanks to the old mother. She gives you a broad smile and waddles towards you. Ask who they are. We're on our way to the battlefield with supplies for the army, but. It seems we lost our way when this strange fog trapped us last night. It seems that she didn't notice that members of her crew have been dead for quite a while now. The wizard Merlin was supposed to lead our troops with Sir Galahad. We were to meet them somewhere around here. Hey, Forge of Days, welcome. Yeah, it's it's a good game. Buy supplies or tell her that there's no war anywhere nearby. I try to explain that the battle she's trying to find must be a thing of the past. Of some past, at least. For all you know, Merlin could be dead. And there's no war happening in this reality. She looks at you with sadness. As if her hope or purpose has been shattered by your truth. Hmm. Don't want to buy supplies. We have a lot of money. Maybe. Yes, sharing some of these things can't hurt. Here, take a look. We are tainted meat. Plus 10 HP, minus 5 max HP. No. Consecrated oil seems pretty good. So is the oversaturated runestone, though. I think the runestone is a bit better. I don't want to buy any more things, though. Not that great value. Rabbit Rat increases its damage and loses a bit of armor for every other enemy in combat. And a bounty hunter. Let's use our flute. Does that affect the rats in any way? It doesn't seem to. I want to summon a golem and play the invocation after that. Can we get there? We should activate our golem. If it hits either the golem or the invocation, that will be great. Try again. Yes. Now we can summon a golem, invocate, and make the rest of our hand cheaper. I hope the Weom gets cost reduced twice, but even if not, we can use well we can use the inner knowledge. To get the Weom out. We do wanna play this. And we oversaturate the Weom. Also, let's promote it twice. Yeah, and it got four promotions, so it does uh, 
It does work like that. It does add two promotions on top. Is there anything we want to focus on? I mean, there should be a target we're focusing. Probably one of the reds, because they're dealing a ton of damage. 50% damage and minus 50 armor for every ally in combat. That's a lot. And then... Activate you a bunch of times. Takes down one red at least. Uh, we have enough barrier. We have a hundred barrier in these golems. Promoting our worm. There we go. Decent amounts of blood and wealth. Cracked tear. Sure. Can't uh, upgrade that yet. But it gets us closer to an upgrade at least. Oh. Marketplace. Investment is gonna be worth. Oh, we have a lot of money we can invest. Yeah, like? let's let's go on with it. Just invest all of it. I wanna get to the five thousand. Should have looked at the shop first, but right now these consumables aren't that great. Acid Bomb isn't bad. I reduce armor of all enemies by 50 for two turns. That is actually somewhat reasonable. And back into the range of the milestone here. That is probably the boss. This is the Treasure Guardian. For the Treasure Guardian we're gonna require a little bit more light I think. Gets every hit under 50. Uh oh. That sounds like a problem. This fight is gonna take forever. Draw one count more, that's useful. Ah. Uh, let's try drawing a card. All saturation, sure, let's make this golem tanky. Uh, reduce. You are buffing, I think. They are buffing their damage, so let's reduce that one. Use these activations to charge my ult. Prepare some barrier. And drawing one more card next turn is going to be useful. They are negating the reflected hits. As expected. Now the minion activates, draw a card and gain an ultimate charge. I would like to set our one up. I could put it on the golem. The golem activates every turn for free. But we're gonna activate the worm way more often than that. But we will need a lot of ultimate charge just before activating the worm even makes sense. Fine. That on the golem. We can't summon the Wyom right now, but we might find a way to do so. Don't want to promote the golem too much. This only gave one additional level. I'm gonna keep the ultimate for a damage minion. Which are now all in our discard, but... Mm, that's the problem. Well, we got another golem out. So our invocation is gonna be better. Uh. I don't want to power up a golem. Don't think that's gonna work very well. 
K-bomb and start buffing it so we can eventually reach the necessary damage. Promote, promote even more. Uh, now we can hit up to 59. But I'm gonna go for an activation on the golem anyways. Keep them healthy. Not too much damage coming in though. Uh oh, this is a lot of damage though. I think we're gonna try to focus one of them down the 300% over here. Uh, let's summon the free fey. Might as well. Gives us a lot of full damage charges. Should use my ultimate for the max amount here. Took out that guy. They still negate some hits. Uh, gain 10 barrier or stun an enemy. Uh, let's stun you. 10 barrier is not gonna make a huge difference. Okay, our abomination is now big enough that I feel like we are uh, in a pretty safe spot. What it again? Uh, we need seven charges for two promotions. We can get to seven charges here. Although the fight is almost over, anyways. Well, Golem is staying alive. Not much longer than this, but he doesn't need to. That was quite a fight. At the start of each turn, this minion increases its damage by 10%. Uh, reduce the enemy armor by 50 for two turns. No, no, I think we skip. I like where our deck is currently and none of these cards really uh, seem to push it in the direction I want. New slot for combat items, weapon slot for rune stones. That should be better than two damage. Considering we can socket the rune stone that gives three, four damage. Um, or reduces the armor of all enemies, increases by two damage. Well, we can always use these. Reduce the armor. Or draw two more additional card with cost reduced. Yeah, let's just make our first turn set up very well for us so we don't have like slow starts where we have to wait forever to summon our minions. Oh, that's the sizable knight again. Maybe we can help them this time. Unlikely, but who knows. Uh, where's our summons? Well, I guess let's use the Whisper in the Wind on the Golem again. Uh, inner Knowledge first. Gives us a faith. Markings. I'm, uh, I don't really want to play that. I want the Weom to get reused in cost. Okay, that works too. We draw an A-bomb. Let's reduce your damage. Gain some barrier. Our golem is gonna be fine. We don't need the markings. We wanna just AoE these um, humans down and then go for the bounty hunter at the end. Uh, let's oversaturate you. Promote, activate, and then promote two more times. And now we just activate as much as we can. One, two, three. Although that wasn't quite enough. Guess we have to promote you also. 
that I can deal more, even more damage next turn. With an invocation, uh, that's a bit overkill. And it takes a bit longer to resolve, so... Cracked tier. First turn of combat. I don't think the first turn of combat matters that much for us. As you journey instead of a dog. The sizable knight gently refused to be eaten. Oh, we have meat. We can feed him. Requires 10 meat in inventory. Yeah. Good meat. I accept it as an offering. You may leave now. Huh. No reward? Oh no. We got some potions. Hmm. Uh, that wasn't great. It is a milestone. But this milestone is in a... Not very useful position, to be honest. I don't think it will reach the boss. Uh, let's take a weird candle from it instead. Two more fights going on over here. Let's use one weird candle to cover them both. And then move towards the boss. Corrupt a giant. Every turn this enemy will increase its damage and lose a bit of armor. Starts with 30 armor. Immune to stun though. But that's that doesn't bother us. Uh, free fairy. Weom. Let's oversaturate the Weom. Promote the Wyrm. Power up the Wyrm. And then let the Wyrm deal some damage. Oh, Rhapsody is also playing King the Grail. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Oh, they're also streaming it. Well, I plan to end the stream pretty soon anyway, so... After this boss, we're gonna send you guys onwards to Rhapsody. Uh, invocation first. Get some cost reductions from the golem. I would like to play Promote, Ritual, Activation, Whispers in the Wind. Yeah, Whispers in the Wind is fine. Uh, we should use our ultimate before we activate you any further. Big snack. Your armor is already has already gone down quite a bit. So activate you a bunch of times and we win. Blinding burst, sacrifice a minion, stun all enemies, activate one minion two times, sacrifice. That sounds pretty bad. Contrap Fae, summon a Fae at level three. That is not actually bad. It's a lot of ultimate charges, but I don't think that's really what we're going for. Choose your master, a glyphs of sustenance. At the end of the turn, raise the damage of abominations by 200%. This effect is removed after their first activation. Okay, that is interesting. We can have an abomination sit there and just grow. Glyph of Shield and Golems retaliate with 100% of the damage they receive instead of 50%. Oh, they only receive retaliate with a 50%? How did we retaliate for 10 on an enemy hitting for 8 then? Still don't understand it. We only apply is vulnerable at 4 Hunter's Marks instead of 6. I like the uh, Abomination one quite a bit. Let them sip for a bit. Like 200% damage per turn is really crazy high. 
Uh, wait, let's talk. What am I doing here? Oh, the seamstress. Well, looking for anything that could help our village. Here, take this. I don't have any use for it, but maybe you will. Oh, I can ask her to sew our mind. We can't get healed anyway, so Even remove a card. Even doesn't puncture your skull, you still feel sharp needles digging deep inside your brain. That sounds really uncomfortable. What do we remove? I kind of want to get rid of the Weom now, now that we're focused on abominations. No, we also have an upgrade that's pretty significant for Weom. Maybe I remove the Fey. Have two golems, a Weom and an Abomination out. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Okay. Final fight before the boss. Let's summon the Abomination. We're not gonna activate it yet. Well, we want to get at least one stack on it. Let's use a Wisp Boss on the Golem. And start activating the Golem. Maybe we get some other cards we can play. Game 5 Barrier, that seems nice. We are gaining a lot of ultimate charges at the very least, if nothing else. Uh, but we can't play anything now. Two hundred damage. That is so much damage. I think just one trigger of that is good enough. But we only have one activation in this. You know what? We're gonna set up for the activation next turn. This turn we still use the golem. These enemies are not hitting too hard. I'm gonna summon a worm. And I'm gonna focus down the blood carver because these bloodstones... This enemy will heal its allies after being destroyed. Yeah, these bloodstones are not... Like, they are... They, Oh! Oh, the increased damage goes away. Not just the growth, also the damage. Yeah, that makes this a lot more balanced. That makes so much more sense. Well, against one target, we're gonna go for... For Snack as our damage unit. Another cracked Kalk. And let's talk to the armor over here. Day, traveler. Ah, yes, the talking market stand. Uh, we have some items we don't need. Okay, uh, we are out of candles, so let's move to the boss. We're fighting them in low light. Dullahan. This enemy can poison you with its attacks. The poison grows stronger with each hit. It will also summon allies. Yawning portal. Every few turns an enemy will try to spawn from this portal. Destroying this portal will remove all poison, heal everyone in combat, increase your damage and reduce your armor. So we need to from time to time destroy the portal to, dis to remove the poison. We will also grow damage but we will lose armor. Uh, let's see, we have Ritual, Arcane Shield, let's draw with the non-knowledge first. Create 10 barrier on all enemies or lose 10% of your current HP. I don't really want to lose HP. Let's put out another Golem and try to cost reduce the invocation so we can activate both Golems at the same time. It worked. And that should reduce the cost of all our remaining cards in hand to zero. We definitely want our barrier. 
Uh, I'm gonna gain some more barrier. Reduce your damage. Gain even more barrier and I will promote one of the golems. Gain yeah, create 10 barrier on all enemies, I don't care. There's our abomination. We can let that one grow for a bit. Keep activating these golems. And we should promote our abomination though. I'm not gonna activate our abomination that often, right? Uh, but maybe not our golem either. Uh, let's focus on you a bit. We can take down the uh, portal a bit later. Four poison, one damage per turn stacks. We want to summon the Weom. This is who we want to activate frequently. Uh, I should have put the uh, mark. The one that grants us ultimate charges on the way home, I guess. Dish out some damage. Start to let the abomination simmer a bit. And that golem got destroyed. Well, it's time to invoke. their first activation okay so they will no longer gain that effect I think the armor reduction is definitely quite useful here we have the poisonous fangs increase armor reduction cost by one for each of its level so that's gonna grow pretty big good thing we still have one is this yawning portal just uh respawning constantly there's our whispers in the wind back i think we want to make sure to focus on the dullahan for now And next turn, no, we use it this turn. That's our second golem gone. We don't draw back into the summon a golem card, huh? Okay, that's a problem. You are dealing a ton of damage right now. I guess we should make use of that. There we go. Just explode them in a single turn. A weird candle. We definitely take those. I wish we could take some more of them. Uh, sacrifice a minion deal one hit for 250% damage to all enemies. No. Heal a minion to full HP, the minion gains 25 barrier. That seems good for our golem, but also advanced promotion. Promote a minion by two levels. That is tempting as well. I want the surge though. If we can keep our golems alive, that's gonna be a bit problematic. Take the weird zone out. And return to our village.